<coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> well, it's good to, to go 1-0 and in league play, obviously, and start the new year in the right direction. So, uh, you know, glad our guys got back on the winning track uh, from last week, obviously. So, um, you know, happy with the win, but you know, it doesn't, certainly doesn't get any easier. We, now we got to go on the road and play two games against two top 25 teams in very tough environments. So, you know, we're happy with the win, but got to uh, got to get ready for the next one. Starting the league today, uh, was that more a message to Mahmoud, or was there something that you uh, saw in practices? Honest got the stomach bug uh, late Sunday night. Uh, was sick for about 24 hours. Didn't practice yesterday, so uh, it was basically that. But I will say, Malik's last three days of practice have been three of his best of the year. So you know, not only because Honest was out, but Malik certainly earned the opportunity. He definitely came out with the energy. I mean, what can you say about how he's improved? What did he put in that spot? And well, it just goes to show, you know, if, if you practice hard and you practice well, it usually correlates into the game. Uh, you know, he, he earned the opportunity and, and took advantage of it. You know, Malik is a kid that, a really tough kid, plays hard every day in practice. Uh, the last three days he's really played kind of with a, with a little bit of an edge. And, uh, you know, he, he comes in and rebounds the ball. You know, he's, he's not shooting the ball well right now, but I'm not worried about that. So he just, he's, play, he's defending, he's playing hard, and he's rebounding the ball. What have you seen from your team the last few days? They took that tough loss at Kentucky, and then they come back and they managed to win their first conference game by double digits. Well, it was good to see him respond that way. You know, I, I, you never can predict how a game is going to go, but I would have been a little surprised if we didn't come out with a little bit of an edge tonight just based on how the last three days have been. I mean, they've been very intense, um, but we, we got better in practice, which was good to see. So, uh, you know, we just we started the right way, like I said, 1-0, but, um, you know, unfortunately in this league you can't enjoy the wins for more than about a half an hour because you got to get ready for the next one, which is usually going to be harder. In looking at that in the month ahead, um, you haven't had a win over a team with a, a top 100 RPI rating all season. Now, in the month, uh, this next month ahead, I think you've got nine out of your 10 games. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> with, <laughs> with teams uh, in, in the top 100. What are you going to, what are you looking for from, from your players in order to step up and get some of those quality wins that you're going to need for the postseason? I mean, we're not looking at, oh, well, this team is ranked and they have a high RPI, so we got to beat them. You know, we're just looking at Clemson's our next opponent. It's a chance for us to go 2-0, and get a great road win. So that, that's the only way we can look at it. You know, in, in leagues like this, and I remember from my playing days in the Big East, you can't look ahead. I mean, you just can't. You got to, you literally have to take it one game at a time. And, you know, do we have a chance to go get a great road win? Yeah. Is it going to be extremely difficult? Of course it is, you know. and But we just, we have to come out uh, and practice and prepare for a couple of days and, and go down there and just, we, I told the guys after the game, if, we, if we're not very well prepared and not at pretty much our our extreme best, and it's going to be really tough for us to go down there and win because they're obviously a very, very good team. Maybe the start of the second half, they got things going a little, got on a little run. What was the difference for you? Because you've had a couple of those lulls, and, and you did, you guys didn't let it extend more than maybe a minute and a half. Yeah, I mean, it's just you know, same old thing, just kind of. Just got to learn how to play with the lead a little bit. You know, it's it's a good thing because you're in the lead, obviously, but you know, you just you got to learn how to kind of close teams out and not let them hover around a little bit. So just something, you know, that has to be developed over time. Um, you know, if it, hopefully we're in that situation because that means we're in the lead in a lot of games. But, you know, it's just something you just got to continue to strive for and just uh, take one position at a time. Smart Ryan. Yeah, I mean, he hit a couple, you know, didn't miss any actually. But uh, he just, he's that experience. You know, just he can play the, the one, he can play the two. Uh, he just, he knows what to do. He's been through it. He just has a sense of calm, same kind of thing that Clinton has. So uh, just having somebody you can bring off the bench that, that's been through it and been on the road and those kinds of things is very valuable. There were a couple of early drives that actually had some layups that were after the first two minutes that were like, you know, you know, Well, when you're playing against a team like this, you know they're going to shoot threes. I mean, more than half their shots tonight were threes. So you focus so hard on taking away the three that sometimes you get beat off the bounce. Sometimes got to give somewhere. But a couple times early, and we corrected it the first time out. You know, we didn't we didn't switch properly on the drive or rotate properly, and we got burned because of it. Now, once we corrected it, we seemed to do a much better job. But uh, you know, a team like this, you have to respect their three point shots so much that sometimes you're just going to get beat off the bounce. But uh, you know, overall, a pretty good defensive effort.
A little bit of both. Uh, you know, they're a team that obviously didn't have great size. They played kind of what I would call four guards as well. So we were able to, to play with a little bit smaller lineup. But, um, you know, it just I was kind of waiting to see how honest was going to feel. You know, like I said, he didn't practice yesterday. And he went to shoot around today and said he was okay. But I just kind of wanted to see how he felt. But And then obviously, you know, Ray picked up his second there in the first half. Uh, we've kind of just stayed with it. But, you know, it's just it's going to be a game-by-game -game thing, depending on lineups. There's teams that are bigger, obviously, and teams that are smaller. So you just got to take it with each game. There was an incident in the second half where Coach Stallings got into it with a fan and said, at least we don't pay our players $100,000. As you get into conference play and go on the road, what do you tell your guys about the abuse they're like? I mean, first road game we played at Purdue student section all had t-shirts on that said FBI. So it's nothing we're going to be surprised by. You know, we played at Purdue and played at Kentucky, two of the toughest environments in the country. So, look, it, it, I mean, it doesn't matter what team you are, where you go, uh, you're going to get heckled on the road. Now, obviously, I'm sure some other schools will have a little bit more ammunition, but we just got to ignore that. You know, our players at Purdue, they didn't let it bother them. So, uh, you know, it's not anything we're going to even talk about or pay attention to. Trouble you that I didn't hear it. I honestly didn't even know until you said it that it happened. So, uh, you know, look, it, we were just concerned about going one and out. The rest of it, I'm not going to get into. That doesn't matter. Anything else for David?